absolutely delighted to be here with my good friend here today, Dr. David Silverman. And we are going to be talking about something that affects a lot of people, whether you're male, female, various different stages of your life, and that's hormone balance. And so many of us, her hormones are giving us issues in terms of there's things that are pushing them out of balance. There's a lot of challenges on us now, and this can have very serious long-term health effects. So we have got the fantastic Dr. David Silverman to help talk us through some solutions for this. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. David. How are you doing today? I am doing great, Catherine. It's so good to see you. I'm sorry when you came over to the States, I didn't get to see you, but I'm looking forward to it the next time. So am I. So am I. I'm really looking forward to the next time. And, um, you know, travel can be one of the things that can push people's hormones out of balance. But it's a big issue now, isn't it, for a lot of people, for males and females, the hormone dysregulation really can affect people of all different ages and have some quite catastrophic effects on their life. So talk us through some of the things that people might notice when that might give them some clues that they've got a hormonal imbalance problem. Well, let me start. I just, I'm just going to read a definition of what hormones do. So that, and just a basic, a Lovely. basic definition. Hormones are chemicals that coordinate different functions in your body by carrying messages through your blood, to your organs, skin, muscles, and other tissues. These signals tell your body what to do and when to do it. So if your signaling goes down and your body isn't getting the signal what to do, how do I deal with the stress? What about my testosterone level? What about my, 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 my thyroid hormones? If the signaling isn't proper, then the, then the, the glands that make hormones and glands are made up of cells, right? Every part of our body is made up of cells. If those cells are not getting the signal um, to do what they're supposed to do, then you get out of balance. So when, when you're in balance, it's called homeostasis. Everything's good. I mean, thing, you know, when you're in balance, things are going good. You're, you're, you're sitting by the ocean, watching the waves and, and the feet in the sand, you feel really good. But then you got stress that, you know, you get back to life, you have stress whatever your body is trying to get you back into balance. And if you, if your hormone levels aren't proper, then you're going to have problems, whether it's low testosterone for men, or if it's too high testosterone for men or women, their estrogen, whatever you have problems. Um, so symptoms can be the range of good Lord, everything. You could just feel jittery all the time. You could be, um, um, you know, um, thirsty all the time. You could be gaining weight. You could not be sleeping. You could be depressed. You could, your libido could be gone. You, so many things can happen if hormones are out of balance, right? So those are some of the symptoms that, that people have when their hormones are out of balance. Yeah, and it's one of the main things that people contact me about because it has such an impact on people's lives. And there's so much misinformation out there because so often the the solutions that people are told to do are really just putting a sticky plaster or removing some of the symptoms, but not addressing the root cause. And I really love that you started with the definition of what hormones are, because they really are the body's signaling mechanism. And when that goes wrong, it can have disastrous long term effects for us. So you've got a solution. We've got a solution that really helps to rebalance the body's signaling processes. Can you talk us through what that is and how the ASEA redox really, really fits beautifully into looking at getting our body's hormonal systems back in balance? And, and balance, that's the key. <laughs> and it is called redox signaling molecules. That's what this is. And there are books on this. There are simple books to read because our body produces these redox signaling molecules, but we all produce more when we're younger. And yeah. when we when we go through puberty, our mitochondria starts producing less, less in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. I'm 63. My cells are producing this much of this. That's what this yeah. is. Even if I didn't drink it, this is what I'd be producing. But I drink it and I raise my levels up to what they were when younger. That's why there's a simple book called um, Life's Biohack uh, by Ricardo Wilkins. It's a very simple book. And for science people, there are ones that are a little more depth. There are textbooks on this, but it is a breakthrough. But the fact is everybody, everybody's hormones are being impacted. Some of it is stress, like we do it to ourselves. And some of it's out of our control. It's the food supply. It's mm. the GMOs. It's the, 
God knows what, what's going on with the water. You know, the, there's, there's all kinds of weird things happening to people and their hormone levels. And so what, what this does is it amplifies signaling in the body. It makes it so the cells can communicate. It makes it so that every, every cell in the body, whatever its function is, it needs to be told what to do for it to do what it's supposed to do. Well, how does it told what to do? Well, internally, it's told by genetic expression. Our, our genes are telling our cells which proteins to produce. And there's different signals going in a liver cell than a retina cell because a retina cell isn't a liver cell. But that signaling need, it needs to be clear. And it decreases as we age because we have less of this. This amplifies signal. So when we're young, signal is very clear. Children heal very quickly from injuries. Children don't have a lot of health issues. 20-year-olds have less health issues than, than 40-year-olds. 20-year-olds are producing this much. 40-year-olds are producing this much. 63-year-olds are producing this much. It's amplifying signal, including signaling to, to the glands because the glands are what produce hormones. And so, you know, if, if, if my, the cells in my retina aren't good, I'm going to not be able to see well. If the cells in my thyroid aren't good, I'm not going to be able to produce enough thyroid hormone. So it's just, it doesn't cure you or heal you. It just amplifies signaling so your body can function the way it did when it was younger. And this is exactly what we want. We want to just give our bodies back the tools it needs to bring it back in balance. Because as Dr. David said, there's so many environmental forces now that are outside a lot of our control that are helping to contribute to push our bodies out of balance. So sometimes they need that extra helping hand just to let them do the job that they're designed to do. Um, I think it's so crucial because when people, I mean, we have a standing joke, most most men will joke about the women in their lives and the, and their hormones and, and the effect it can have on their mood. But it can have a disastrous, serious health effects on people if it's less unaddressed, can't it? Absolutely. I mean, look, stress kills. Mm. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, everybody has has to deal with different levels of stress whether it's stress because they have a health issue or love someone with a health issue or self-image or, or the biggest cause of stress is money and not yeah. having money and this insecurity of retirement and this crazy world of what's going on, who knows what's going to happen. <clears throat> you see people living on the street. Sometimes, you know, uh, half the time I'll give somebody money. Just it, I'd rather teach a man or a woman to fish than give them a fish. But ha about half the time I give, give them money. But I look and I think that's a person. They had a life. Mm -hmm. You know, something happened to them. Maybe they have mental illness, which is brain cells, right? Maybe, maybe something, some, some, they were thrown some, what we call curveballs here. Something happened in their life that they didn't expect and they couldn't handle it. Now they're living on the street, right? Well, not everybody's living on the street, but a lot, most people, most people live with a, a, too much stress. And it's nice to have something that can address stress and can't hurt. It's not taking Prozac. It's not taking chemicals that are toxic that you better take the right dosage because if you take too much, you can overdose. You can drink as much as you want as this. Most people drink between four and eight ounces a day, but some people say, yeah, I want to drink 15 ounces. I want to drink 32 ounces a day. Almost everybody's between four and eight. Yes. I drink eight every day, but I, I, you know, I'm 63. I, I feel like I'm in my twenties. I, I don't know. I, I know what I know, but I can't say that this is the reason why I don't take any medications. I don't take medicines, you know, and it's not like I have great genes. My parents took medications at 63, lots of them, right? My friends take medications at 63. I don't take anything and I don't take a whole lot of supplements. I mean, I, I drink this, I take something the company has on other incredible supplements that, that maybe like six things that I take mm. every day, but for the price to be 63, and feel like I'm in my 20s, my God, I, I, I feel so blessed that I was told about this. Absolutely. And the thing I love most about it, David, is the fact that you touched on there. It's completely safe. And all it's doing is putting back in what we need more of in our body anyway. Well, our body is producing anyway. So it's truly working in the true sense of holistic. It's working with our body's natural ability to bring itself back into balance, but to, to counteract all those outside forces. So for anyone who is recognizing that they've got hormonal imbalances, please, please, please don't despair. 
it happens to a lot of us. It's, you know, normally not our fault because of all these extra external pressures that are on our bodies. But the great thing is, is you can do something about it. And your physical health, your mental health will really, really thank you for doing that. And and it's never too late to take action. Just give, start giving your body what it needs. And it will really work at, down at a cellular level, addressing the root cause, not just putting a sticky plaster over the symptoms. Oh, thank you so much, Dr. David. Is there anything else you want to leave people with who are thinking my hormones are shot? What can I do? Well, I, I think you and I are going to shoot one on cortisol as well. And cortisol, yeah. so watch that one, because if you have stress or you love someone that has stress, watch the one we, we did on that or that we're going to do on that. Um. I would just tell you that we have a lot of potential. Yeah. Our bodies have a tremendous amount of potential. And we live our lives and think, well, this is the way it is. I have this much stress. I have this much pain. This is the way I sleep. This is the way I look. And say, well, that's the way it is. And there has been an advancement that makes it so that you can reach your potential. And an analogy I'll give you is that if I had a friend sleeping over here, staying over and, and um, um, uh, they were they came in this room and they were sitting there reading at nighttime. And the light is on above there, but it's not very bright. And they're like looking and say, oh, God, I wish there was more light, but I don't see any more. So they're, they're struggling to read and say, this is as good as it is. I, I'll, I'll read. And then I walk in the room and I say, why are you sitting in here? It's so dark. Well, the light's on. And I say, no, there's a dimmer switch there. And I, I flip the dimmer up and it gets bright, right? He's like, wow, I, don't ha I didn't know. I didn't know that was the potential. The, the light bulb had potential, but it wasn't being given what it needed. It didn't have enough electricity. So it was just operating at that. It's the same with our bodies. We, we function at this level and say, well, as I'm getting older, I'm seeing this happen to me, but that's the way it is. It doesn't have to be because this, this helps us reach our potential simply by amplifying the signal. So I hope that, that anybody that does have, that has stress or hormone problems, whatever, whatever, we're talking about hormones, take this very very seriously. You know, when I first looked at it, I went to Google and I'm like, good things, bad things, whatever. The fact is, it's easy for anybody to validate this themselves. Very easy. It takes 10 minutes. Someone knows it's real. And once you know it's real, you're like, thank God my friend brought this to me. But take it seriously for you or for someone you love. It is very, very, very important. It's a breakthrough. And, and Catherine, thank you for, for being part of bringing this to the world uh, one person at a time. One person can tell a few people, they tell a few people, they tell a few people, all of a sudden you've helped a thousand people because you told a few people and you're helping to do that. And I really want to thank you for that and honor you for that. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Anyone who's watching this, there's solutions out there. All the details of how you can reach out will be below. Thanks then. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. And if you feel inspired, please do share with your friends and family. My goal is to inspire as many people as I can to live their best lives, to stay curious and to raise their consciousness and that of the collective. So to do this, I need to reach as many people as possible and this needs your help. If you feel drawn, would you be willing to share your favorite episode with five different people? This helps us spread the word and also helps me encourage some exciting new guests to take part in this podcast. If you feel drawn to do that, I will be very, very grateful. All the links and discount codes where applicable for all the products that I support are on my two websites, katherineedwards.life and katherineedwardsacademy.com. All of the products are personally tried and tested by me, my family and my clients. And finally, please do press the follow or subscribe button, depending which platform you're listening on. And above all, stay curious and stay free.